guys it is alisa here or the diamond stitcher as i go by on youtube and instagram hello good morning or good afternoon whatever time it is for you i hope you are having a wonderful day if you're new to my channel welcome i am happy you are here i hope you would consider subscribing and sticking around for all things diamond painting if you are returning thank you so much for your continued support I have another small shop haul for you guys here uh, from some more of our event sponsors. So I've got three shops here, packages waiting to be open, and I can't wait to share them with you. Let me do these ones first. So as you can see, this is Shiny Shazza. I've, I've unboxed quite a few of these lately. Uh, I absolutely love her trays. They're so different. They're so special. They just add something um, something special to diamond painting. So let's take a look. She is a UK-based shop. She makes resin diamond painting trays, minders, and other goods. She is a sponsor of the event. She has offered a 20-year-old gift card. Uh, it has not been given away yet. I can't recall off the top of my head what week it's in, but uh, it will be coming up. Uh, the nice thing about her shop, if you are Canadian, is shipping is reasonable. It's under $10, I think more like $6, $6 or $7. And there's been no customs fees on arrival. So that is a bonus. Um, this one, I've been waiting for one of her white trays. If you've been around a while, you know that I kind of I kind of gravitate, gravitate towards white trays. They're just a lot easier for my eyes. So when I saw this one sitting there, I knew I had to uh, scoop it up. She has a variety of different tray designs, and I think I have a, a different one down here to show you after. Uh, but I love, I love this one. It makes it really easy with this spout to pour your diamonds back in your tray, and they line up diamonds really nice. Let me pour some in here and show you. I always tend to grab these orange ones, which is kind of funny because it's a fall Halloween event, right? It's keeping it on theme. I don't want to make a mess here, but they do line up the diamonds really nicely. As you can see, these are crystals from Oraloa. Oraloa is another sponsor of our event. They've offered five crystal packs um, that I'm going to be sending out to each of the winners. Uh, the packs are full of 18 or 16 uh, colors of uh, random colors of special diamonds. I really like their crystals. I like using them uh, to bling up my diamond paintings. But as you can see, those line up really nicely there. I know some people say resin trays do work differently. They do kind of, but as long as they're good quality, they work quite well. Now this bag is really full, which is the problem. I find with these kind of trays, when you shake it like that, it helps them empty a little bit easier. But because this bag is so full, I don't want to drop it. I've got a straggler here and here. There we go. So I love using her trays. I usually have one of them going uh, when I sit down to diamond paint. I have quite a few different designs. But when I saw the white one, I knew I had to get it. Now let's open this one. When I saw this colorway, I also knew I had to get it because I am now starting to prepare for the winter diamond paint along. And I thought this colorway would be perfect for a winter diamond painting kit. Made me think of snow. Isn't that pretty? So she takes uh, resin and she, she makes them different colors, mixes different colors together, adds glitter, sparkle, all sorts of things. You can see her shop name on the side there. This is the same kind of tray as this, just different colors. They kind of go together, these two trays. Now this one is a different design. So let's take a look at this one. Again, I saw this one and I knew I had to have it. I just thought the 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 color of this pink she used is just so, so pretty. This is actually my favorite of her tray designs. And the spout is off to the side, but I just find it works really well at emptying diamonds. So this is one of my favorite ones. Again, as I said, she has a few different designs that you can choose from. She has a few that I'm not featuring in this video, some longer ones as well that you might see in another video, but I just love this color. Shiny Shazza on this side here. I am amassing quite a collection. So with uh, Shiny Shazza, what she usually does is uh, she, I think almost daily uploads new trays or new uh, cover minders to her shop. I always check her Instagram. That is where you find uh, kind of sneak peeks and she'll let you know when her next shop upload is. There is a code you can use on her shop to save 10%. I think it's Shazza10. Uh, if you click through her Instagram uh 
Instagram profile, there's a link tree there. Click that. You'll see it'll say the Etsy shop and it will tell you the code. I think it's Shaza10 and you can save 10% off. But yeah, when I sit down with my coffee, I often will browse Instagram, see what kind of trays she's coming out with and hop over to her Etsy shop uh, with things that are handmade. I mean, you can't mass produce things. So everything is handmade one at a time uh, from her shop. If you see a colorway you like that you missed out on, you can always message her. I believe she does do customs from time to time as well. Let me try to keep them in frame, but up there. So yeah, I, she is one of my favorite small shops that is uh, considered international to me at least. Also because the shipping from the UK is actually quite reasonable and we don't get charged. At least I've never gotten charged uh, duties. Now this shop, I do see an invoice. So let me just uh, take the invoice part out. This is from Craft Pack Canada. Again, another event sponsor. There are, um, I really like her diamond painting putty or uh, she calls it diamond painting tack. Let me just make sure there's no exclusive code I'm supposed to. There is a code on here. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to share it. Uh, so I'm gonna cover it up for now. Um, that's awesome. So this is just a little um, note here. Thank you so much for uh, your support, uh, asking us to make, rec um, not recommendations, um, reviews on her shop if you like her products. The owner's name is Krista and here is the tack. Let me uh, take it off, it's just taped on here. Uh, they are a small shop based in Ontario. Uh, they have an Etsy shop and also a website so you can purchase through either. Um, I really like their diamond uh, putty here. They also offer um, diamond paintings of uh, photography images or images, you know, bought from uh, licensing websites. Uh, most of them are photography images and she's actually offered to donate one for the event. I've not yet given it away. It's an image of some sunflowers. Uh, it is coming up. She's actually donated five prizes. So she's donated a painting. She's donated one of her trays. So she makes 3D printed trays as well. She also, I think her and her daughter make clay pens together. And then she has this tack that she's donated three packs of, of this. So uh, I really like it. I did notice she had an unscented uh, version. So I thought I would give, get that to give it a try for those of you that are very, very scent sensitive. Let me just pull the release paper off here. Yeah, there's no scent at all in that. So you get a nice long strip of putty here. I like using putty in my multi-placers. Sometimes I use it in my single placer, but I, I often just use glue dots because they do last forever and there's absolutely no residue. Uh, sometimes with putty, if you overfill your placer, you might get a little bit sticking to the glue. Um, that's why I just use it in my multi-placer. This one is called Mystic and it's actually nice. It's not super strong. I am somewhat scent sensitive, really strong perfumey smells and I do not get along. This is actually quite nice. It's just a very faint uh, scent. It's not floral. I don't know how to describe it, but it's beautiful. And her tack, uh, her putty lasts quite a while I find. And this one is my favorite scent. This one is Cherry Blooms. One of my favorites. I think this is my third one I've ordered because <laughs> I just go through it so fast. This one is a stronger scent than the Mystic one, but it's not too bad. It is floral, uh, cherry bloom uh, flowers, as you can see there. I ordered these through her Etsy shop and shipping was free, which is always nice. So I picked up three. They're gonna last me a very long time. Uh, if you somebody who likes putty and you like supporting uh, small shops, I recommend you give them a try. I do like that they have an unscented version now for our scent sensitive folks. Um, that's just awesome. I just want to show you there on Facebook, you can find them at Craft Pack Canada as well and Instagram. 
Hashtag Craft Pack Canada. I will have her shop linked down in the description box. Again, as I said, she does have an Etsy storefront and she also has a website. So you can order uh, through either way. She actually also does custom diamond paintings, but in round diamonds only. I've never got one done, so I can't speak to the experience, but I do know she does offer customs. I just wanted to throw that out there. Now, I can't remember who this is from. Oh yes, this is from Yellow Dog Designs. So Yellow Dog Designs is a Canadian small shop. Oh, that's so cute. She's got a, the little dog. They are a Canadian small shop. Uh, I recently unboxed some trays from them. They had, um, they had shortly uh, before that had, um, what am I trying to say? They, they got a new printer in and, and they had to change some of the settings. So she wanted to send me a new and improved version of the tray. So I said, sure. So here it is, yellow tissue paper and the little golden retriever, which is so on brand. I absolutely love it. Let's see. Oh, she sent me a purple one. I absolutely love purple. Oh, wow. She sent me a bunch of little stickers. These are awesome. Here is their little um, logo. Isn't that adorable? That is so cute. Sent me a few stickers. That's awesome. Those are nice quality stickers. So here is the tray. So she decided to uh, send this over to me, new and improved. Um, with the other tray, the, there was a spacing issue with the line really close to the edge here. And they've changed it. They've uh, made it so that doesn't happen. So that's awesome. Let me pour some drills in here in case you haven't seen the other video. So Yellow Dog Designs is a new Canadian shop based in... Alberta? No, Saskatchewan. You're totally wrong. They're based in Saskatchewan. <laughs> um, that's awesome. So as you can see, they do line up the drills really nicely. These are squares, of course, that I have. They do line up drills really nice. And then they have a little stopper here as well. They have a very different kind of tray uh, called an ergonomic tray. I don't have it near me to show you, but it is in another video. Um, if you are somebody who likes holding their diamond painting tray in their hand while diamond painting, you might like that ergonomic tray. It's made with um, that uh, in mind. So instead of having straight edges, it's kind of tailored to fit somebody's hand. Um, which is a very neat design that I haven't seen on the market. And then they also have these standard trays for those people who just like, you know, the basic tray, yellow dog designs on the side. That's awesome. I can't wait. It emptied beautifully, as you can see. No diamonds are stuck on the side. So I like the upgrades. This is a perfect tray. Thank you. Thank you so much for sending that to me. Hi guys, I am inserting this clip after the original video was filmed. This package actually came uh, the afternoon that I had already filmed the video in the morning and uh, this is also from one of our event sponsors uh, bistro exclusives or bistro blanks sorry if i sound a bit funny in this clip i have a neck brace on today and um it's just it's hard to talk uh, when you're wearing a neck brace i find um it's hard for me to talk anyways these days <laughs> with all the problems i have so uh, sorry if I sound a bit funny, but I can't wait to get into this package because there's a few pens in here, including one Halloween one. And uh, yeah, let's just get into it. Now, usually I don't think there's invoices included. I don't, I don't care about an invoice anyway. I don't want to be reminded of the amount of money I spent on some, some things. <laughs> I think you guys can relate. So Beaster Exclusives is a USA small shop. Now the state they're in, I can't quite remember, but they are in the U.S., um, they create really amazing, uh, unique pens to their shop. Uh, they've been in business a long time. They create themed pens uh, of all sorts of kinds. Princesses, ocean theme, mermaid theme, Halloween theme, Christmas theme, any kind of theme you can think of. And from time to time, they also open a custom list, meaning that you can uh, make a pen from scratch with them, uh, with their guidance. So, um they do sell on both of their Facebook group and their Etsy shop. Uh, both links will be in the description box of this video. Oh, awesome. They also send really cute cover binders all the time. Looks like I've got some matchy. Oh, there's four here. Looks like I got some matchy ones. We've got a cute little witch's hat. They use the nice uh, neodymium magnets, so they're nice and strong. I've got a little uh, toadstools here. I've got a cute little pumpkin. 
And we've got the Nightmare uh, Before Christmas guy. I can't remember his name. Isn't that awful? Uh, she also sent along some plastic tips. Also, when you get a package, there's usually a handwritten note just thanking you for your purchase. Make sure there's nothing special in there. Yeah, just a, a, a nice little hand a written note. Thanks so much. Hope you enjoy your new goodies. Have fun and enjoy. Diane is the owner of the shop and her sister Laura helps her out uh, along with, I think, a few other members of their family. But uh, if you do join their Facebook group, you see uh, Laura posting a lot. She uh, helps Diane uh, with the... Um, um, with the pens. In their Facebook group, they have a couple ways that they post their pens. Uh, their pen drops are usually, I believe, Thursday evenings as when they start or Thursday. And um, they post a handful or more, uh, probably more than a handful of pens. Abby's coming to uh, sniff here. She's just, you say hi? Say hi to the people. No. <laughs> She's coming to sniff. Uh, anywhere, where was I? Uh, they post pens in a few different ways on their Facebook group. It's either first uh, to claim, meaning the first person to say mine uh, usually gets the right to purchase the pen. Again, of course, pens are not free. And then they also do random number generators where everybody interested in a pen can put a number down and then they spin a wheel s similarly to what I do in my diamond painting events for the prizes. Uh, and then they also load up their Etsy shop from time to time with new designs. At time of filming, I know they uh, had uh, uploaded some new uh, pens um, yesterday. Uh, they can sell out very quick, especially popular designs. Isn't this bag just so cute? I love their their extra little touches they do. It just uh, It's awesome. There are three pens in here, believe it or not. Shipping from Bistro uh, to Canada was about $20. It's probably between $20 and $25. I can't quite remember exactly. Uh, and then there were no customs or duties on arrival. So that's for three pens here. So that is awesome. Now let's get into them. Let's do this one. One is Halloween themed and two are cat themed. So let's see which one this is. Oh, this is, oh my God, this is awesome. This is a Halloween theme pen. She showed me a few designs and allowed me to choose because um, she's a sponsor for my event. And I went with this one because it's a little, it was a little shorter than some of the other pens. And you know me, I like shorter pens. I find they're just really easy to flip. I love the thickness of this one. There's some cute, I said I wanted some cute ghosts or pumpkins. So there's some cute ghosts in there. And then it says Happy Halloween with a bat and some other little charms. And of course, Top it off, or I guess it's on the bottom, but you know what I mean, with some pink flowers. That is just awesome. I absolutely love it. This is a new kind of design that they've started with all these kind of mini charms, and I'm really liking some of the options they've had for their Halloween drop. So, oh, thank you so much, you guys, for allowing me to purchase this. And in here, we've got two kitties. One kitty was a first to claim in their Facebook group, and then... The other kitty was dropped on their Etsy sh Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so happy I got this one. That is gorgeous. You know, online, it actually looked like it was just dark blue. But seeing now it's purple, that's amazing. Because purple's my favorite color. And that is Abby. I think she looks close enough to my kitty. I know my kitty has a black face, but... Um, or a dark face, I should say. Um... But isn't that so cute? That's probably the closest charm they have to my breed of cat. I'm so happy I got this. At first I was like, well, I don't know if I want the blue flowers because my cat's a girl, but it doesn't matter. The background is purple. There's a few pink butterflies and it's just so beautiful. Wow, I'm so happy I bought this one. This was an impulse buy. This was, I saw it dropped and I just went to get it. This is the first pen that I originally had uh, purchased uh, along with these. These were the two pens I picked up in her drop. Uh, this one was a first to claim. And when I saw it, I just, I just fell in love with it. I did have a cat that looked like this for a short while. Uh, she turned out to be... Um, basically a barn cat. She, we could not train her to stop peeing outside the litter box. No matter what we did, we tried for almost a year, I feel like. It was quite a while we tried and, you know, we went through so many throw pillows and eventually we had to replace our entire couch because it was just getting so, so destroyed. Um, 
so we don't have that kitten anymore uh, she uh, went to live happily on a barn but um and i'm sure she's having fun catching mice uh, but this one is just kind of uh a nice throwback to that little kitty that was part of our family for a short while uh, i just love the style of this pen that they they turned it's a thinner pen which you know i like and it looks like it's the similar height to this one is this one a bit taller just a tiny bit taller not too much taller um, I absolutely love this one. And then, yeah, when I saw this one drop on their Etsy, that was an impulse buy. Uh, I'm so glad, though, that I did get it. As you can see, the quality in Bistro is amazing. Um, the finishes on this pen were awesome. Um, Laura actually was concerned because when she did the final kind of quality check before packaging it up she noticed an imperfection on this pen and she said I can't send it to you I need to fix it first so they really take pride in craftsmanship and making sure their pens are perfect when they send them out to you I've never received a pen from them that I thought you know could have been a little bit more shiny or or what have you it's just they're polished to perfection it's hard to show through the camera but you can see the glare from the sunlight there they're just polished amazingly. You don't see any lathe lines or little scratches or anything on them. I am absolutely in love. I'm so happy this arrived. It actually arrived faster than I thought. I don't know if she sent it express or not, but uh, really appreciate it. It always uh, changes hands to Canada Post. I think they send it by USPS and then it switches hands to Canada Post and um, mailman delivered it into the community mailbox. Again, there were no charges for duty on either uh, any of these pens, uh, which is really awesome. So if you have not checked out Bistro exclusives, please do so. All of their links will be in the description box. Again, they are an event sponsor. We gave away an amazing Jack and Sally pen that they donated for our week one prizes. Uh, they have pen drops every week. Like I said, usually it's on Thursday. Head to their Facebook group for more info uh, and also their Etsy shop. They do post in that Facebook group when they load up their Etsy shop as well. Um, in the Etsy shop, they have kind of, I think, what they call fan favorites, a very popular pen. And then they make a few different kind of variations, maybe colors or different charms. And they, um, and they replenish them as they sell out. So super, super grateful for these pens, you guys. Thank you so much again for making amazing things and offering to sponsor our event. Um, again, all three of these shops are sponsors for our fall diamond painting event. If you haven't checked them out, give them a follow, give them a like. Uh, that helps. You know, if you can't purchase, just follow their channels, give them a like, share, share their products with others. Uh, any kind of support really means a lot to the small shop, so... I hope you enjoyed this little unboxing and until the next video, happy diamond painting. Bye.